Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate one of the new features that got introduced in WebDriver Manager library. That is, we don't have to write this statement that is WebDriver driver is equal to new browser driver that maybe it can be Chrome driver or Firefox driver or Edge driver or any other browser driver. We don't have to write this statement guys. With the help of the new feature that got introduced in WebDriver Manager, we not only have avoided the need of downloading the driver executable files for individual browsers, and also now the new with the help of new feature, this line is also not required to be written. Okay, I'll show you practically, guys. Then you will understand what is the new feature that I'm talking about. Okay, apart from maintaining the driver executable files, okay, the need of maintaining or downloading the driver executable files. Now, WebDriver Manager also helps us or makes us not to use this extra line for launching the browsers. How that is possible? Okay, let me show you. So here we have a sample project, okay, which is Java project, Java Maven project. And here we have the class and main method. Inside this, I want to write the Selenium code. Uh, okay, so before that, I need to add the libraries to the palm.xml file. Okay, I'll open the palm.xml file of this project. And here, I'll add the dependencies. Okay, since it is a Maven project, I can add the dependencies like this, dependencies. And here I'll end the dependencies, slash depend. Dependencies. okay, slash dependencies. Okay, then save this and now here we can add the dependency tags. That is a uh, MVN repository. I'll simply say web driver manager. I have to add the dependency tags for Maven dependency tags for web driver manager. 5.3.0, I'll copy this dependency tags and uh, paste it here, okay? So if you're using something above five version, okay? Uh, maybe it got, uh, just use the latest version guys. Okay. Just use the latest version. So maybe somewhere here, like, uh, after 5.1.1 or something, we can experiment that guys. Okay. Let's go to the older versions like 5.0.1 and see if you have that, uh, thing or not later, but for now I'll go with the latest version of, uh, web driver manager guys, 5.3.0 latest version of web driver manager. And along with that, I'll add the dependency tax for Selenium Java guys. Okay. Selenium Java also. The latest version uh, as uh, which, uh, which for web driver manager, which got released in, uh, you see, 2022 works fine for us, uh, which has the latest feature of this guys, okay? You can be, okay? You you don't have to worry, 5.3.0 has that thing, okay? Capability. So you can go with that version or even when you're watching this video, if you have any other latest version, you can take that, okay? Fine. Now, so what we can do here is we have to add the dependence tags for Selenium Java. So Selenium Java search and go to Selenium Java and uh, take the latest uh, version that is 4.5.2, uh, copy the dependence text and paste into the palm.xml file like this, okay? Now save this. Once these libraries are automatically downloaded and configured in this project with the help of Maven, okay? Let's close this and now write the code. Generally, we write the code like this, web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup okay then we'll write web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver right so import this web driver from selenium library import this chrome driver class from selenium library then we can write driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then driver dot get we can open any application url guys driver dot get i'll open some application url say selenium143.blogspot.com. This is the application URL I want to open. And uh, here I'll set driver dot switch. Okay. So let's see whether this script will work or not. Okay. So it should launch the, this is the default code guys. I have not used the latest feature of the web driver manager. By default, we generally use like this, right? This statement is already helping us where we don't have to download this Chrome driver dot exe file, right? With the help of this statement, we don't have to download the Chrome driver.exe file and maintain that in the project when browser version changes. We don't have to delete that, update the version, download the latest version of Chrome driver.exe file from the official website of Selenium and all 
all these things got already resolved with the help of WebDriver Manager. But now, WebDriver Manager has also come with another feature that I'm going to cover after running the script, okay? First, let's see whether the script is working or not. It should open the Chrome browser, then maximize the browser and open the application URL and close the browser, okay? That's what should happen. Let's see. It should open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser, open the application URL. Once the application URL is loaded, it will get closed, okay? As you have seen. Now, I was saying that with the WebDriver Manager, you don't even have to write this uh, line which is available at this 11th point, okay? 11th line. This line is not at all required, is okay? What if I remove this line? You are getting the driver error, right? But still, this can be resolved. How? Here, in place of the setup, you just say create. Just in place of setup, you mention create, guys. This create method is going to return you the object of the web driver, okay? Simply say driver is equal to over the mouse and say create local variable. Web driver driver is equal to now, you see. It's not required for us to write web driver driver is for new Chrome driver. This web driver manager itself is creating the driver object and storing into the web driver interface now. Okay. With this create statement, create method, we can do that. Okay. Instead of in place of setup method, we have to write the create method that will solve the problem. So let's see whether this script will work or not. Okay. You don't have to write that web driver driver is called new Chrome driver or Firefox driver or Opera driver or Edge driver or any other driver now. Okay. Simply you can write like this. Web driver manager will take care of this statement, okay? It will assign the object of the Chrome driver to the web driver interface line, okay? Automatically. You see, with a single line, you are writing multiple lines, okay? That's it. Two advantages with web driver manager now. Run the script. If the script is working as similar, whatever I have run earlier, then we are good, okay? You see, it will open the application URL. After loading, it has closed. You see, it's still working fine. This is what is the thing, guys, okay? So you may have a doubt, like uh, what if I have to uh, provide some Chrome options here, okay? Then in case of WebDriver, driver is called new Chrome driver. In the Chrome driver constructor, we can provide the Chrome options, right? But here, how do you overcome that problem? That we can do, guys. Uh, first, let's create Chrome options here. Chrome options. Options is equal to, if you have to reduce the lines and if you have the Chrome options, then how to deal with the situation? So is something I'm going to demonstrate. Chrome options, import this from Selenium library and say options dot, options dot add arguments, okay? Double quotes. Let's say I want to run the script in headless mode, hyphen hyphen headless, okay? There are a lot of other arguments also, apart from headless, we can use headless. So uh, we will not see the script running guys, but script will, uh, uh, just will, uh, I'll write a um, print statement at the end, uh, execution. Test execution completed, okay? So that we, we can know that uh, uh, this automation script has run in the headless mode. You see, these options need to be provided to the Chrome driver constructor. But here, since we are not writing web driver driver is called new Chrome driver, where can we provide these options? That's the point, right? For that also, there is a solution, guys, with web driver manager, web driver manager dot Chrome driver. Before this create statement, you have to say dot, okay? There's, a, there's something, guys, okay? Capabilities. Just type C, you will get the capabilities. Just select this capabilities, guys. In this capabilities, you need to pass this Chrome options. Okay. So these Chrome options, that headless arguments of these Chrome options will now be applied to this Chrome driver. Okay. That means the Chrome browser, the script will be running in the headless mode. You will not see anything happening, but script will run. At the end, in the output, you will get the execution completed message. Okay. Just see, you will not see any uh, browser opening and all because everything is happening in uh, invisible mode, that is headless mode. So we are running the Chrome browser in headless mode and uh, these options are applied to the Chrome browser uh, with that, uh, you see, test execution completed, okay? What if I remove these options? This capabilities cannot be empty, guys. We have to remove that, okay? Now the uh, these options, headless options will not be applied to the Chrome browser. Now run the script, you see, you will see the Chrome browser uh, coming and, you know, Okay, uh, visible actually, this time. After the application is loaded, it will close. You see, execution completed. Okay, this is not headless mode, this is normal mode. Okay, if you want to apply the headless mode, headless mode you have to say dot capabilities and provide these options to which headless mode is applied here. Okay, then it will work as you know. So, hope guys. You understood?
the new feature that got introduced into this web driver manager, which uh, actually uh, allows us to not write, okay? Reduce one line, which actually helps us in reducing one more line in our Selenium automation code. Already web driver manager is helping us in maintaining our driver executable file, driver.exe file for different browsers. Okay, we don't have to download them and maintain them in our project, but it is automatically maintaining, okay? If you write webdriver manager dot uh, chrome driver dot setup, it is maintaining the chrome driver dot exe file. We don't have to download the exe file, so it's already there from earlier, from a uh, long time. But now this new feature, the help of new feature, it's allowing us to avoid the need of writing this statement in a separate line. Okay, so where you can simply use a create method. Okay, as mentioned here, you can use a create method. So this will automatically return you the chrome driver object and that you are passing to the webdriver interface. Okay, simple. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.